In this video, I'm going to show you how to test the registration API with Postman. Postman is a tool with which you can add the very minimum test APIs. It allows backend developers to test their APIs without actually having to rely on a UI to send the data. And that is exactly what we want at this stage of our application. We want to be able to test our registration API even though we don't have a working user interface with a registration form. So let's see how to do that. Go to getpostman.com, download and install Postman. Once the installation is successful, sign up with a new account or log in with your Google profile. You should then be able to see this screen. All right, now it is time to test our registration API. Before that, let me quickly restart Node Server. Now, if you wish to, you can use NodeMon to automatically restart your Node Server whenever there is a change. But I'm okay with manually restarting the server for every API, so it's completely up to you. So I'm gonna open the terminal and I'm gonna navigate inside the server folder, so cd server, and I'm gonna run the command node server. Now back in Postman, first we select the request method. Registration is a post request, so select post. Then we enter the URL. So this is going to be localhost colon 3000 slash api slash register. Next, in the headers tab, we are going to set the content type. So content type is going to be application slash JSON. And the last step is to specify our user data. So go to the body tab, select raw, and then we are going to have our user object. So this is going to be JSON format within a pair of curly braces. The first property is email. I'm gonna have a at a.com and the second property is the password and I'm just gonna leave it at a. Now I'm gonna hit on send and if I scroll to the bottom you can see that the response status is 200 okay and we get back the details of the registered user. Email, password and the auto-generated ID. So the user is successfully saved in MongoDB. If I go to MLab and take a look at the documents, so in database events DB, in collection users, I'm gonna click on users. In the documents, we can see the new registered user, email a at a.com with a password of a. All right, now that we have a working registration API, Next, let's create an API for user login.